Hello and welcome to my little video about assembling a hummingbird fountain bath. Here you see most of the items that will be necessary for the completion of the project. This box contains a uh, solar fountain. We have a piece of PVC pipe. Some plastic tubing that will go through the PVC pipe. A 5 inch Mikasa playground ball. A pot that's going to be used to hold the water and support the uh, finished concrete ball. Uh, this is just a plate. We're going to see if that works or not. A bucket to mix the quick creed in, which is going to be used to fill the ball. And uh, sand would be a, probably a better choice to as a support underneath the ball when you're filling it with the concrete. But I didn't want to buy a 50-pound bag of sand. We have this potting mix. We're just going to see if that'll work or not. So we've taken the Mikasa ball and we've turned it inside out so it'll have that nice texture. So it'll have that nice texture on it. We've turned it inside out. So we've got that hole cut on the top. We've got this other hole cut on the other side. We're going to take that PVC pipe and run it through. Put some potting soil in here. See if that how that feels. Yeah, I think that might work. Mix the concrete now. Put some mix into this container. Um, as you can see, I have some PPE on. I have a mask, the dust and stuff from the concrete. You don't really want to be breathing that. This isn't the highest quality mask for that, but it's better than nothing. And I will need a little more water. So you see it, how it holds its shape pretty good. It could probably stand to be a tiny bit thicker. And so we've got the ball filled up about to where we we're going to do it as far as we're going to go. And you can see it's kind of thin, but it's uh, probably can use a little support until it dries a little bit more to hold that in place. So we've cleaned up our mess we made. By the way, I don't think I mentioned a trash bag. Make sure you have some kind of trash container when you're doing this, just to throw the stuff. As you can see, I made a fairly wet, it really could have been a little bit drier, much drier maybe, compound. So it's going to take a while for this to dry. This is about three days later. Concrete has cured up. I think it should be okay to take it out of the, its form. And uh, so we're going to take that apart and get it out of there. We're going to use a uh, razor knife to cut uh, the uh, form off of the concrete. will eventually end up in this orientation. I'm going to try to cut this off cleanly so that we can make an attempt to reuse this instead of having to buy another ball. There 
we go. I think we may, we'll find out, we may be able to reuse that. So turning the ball inside out, you can see that we have a lot of interesting texture on here. We've got the ball that we've uh, taken out of the mold. We've cut off the pipe, cut it off pretty, pretty much flat with the top of the ball. And uh, this will stick down through the plate. So we've drilled the hole in the plate to accommodate the stem. And that will go through here. This is going to rest on our little pottery urn here. So what's left to do? We have to drill holes in the plate inside the circle that is the top of this so that the water will drain back down into the pot. I'm not going to worry too much about have I drilled enough holes. We'll uh, find that out once we get the fountain running and see what the uh, uh, rate of flow is for the water back into the pot. So we now have our holes drilled, which they're pretty difficult to see, but you can maybe make them out there. And while we have the ball on the, on the plate here, we're going to take that ultramarine blue and uh, cover the ball. So we're going we're gonna to thin these paints out a little bit. trying to we want the paint to have a good color to it and everything but we don't want it to be so thick that it uh, fills in all the holes and, and the texture that, that we got on the ball. Let's get a, an idea of what this is going to look like. <laughs> 